Hi guys, it's Master Coach Tony Morgan. And on today's video, we're looking at a problem with no central heating. So as you can see, it's electric flow boiler. And you can see the programmer, it's called for heating in hot water. But actual fact, as I said, the heating is not working. So it's on a mid position valve system. So that's it there can see. So what we're going to do, and um, before I say anything else, um, we'll just look at the boiler. You can see the call light on flashing there. So that means it's got a demand on. So we're going to turn off the heating and the hot water and we're going to do them individually and just show you what's happening. As you can see there's no demand. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to turn on the hot water Use this select button here. So that's come off for hot water. And if you look at the boiler, we can see we've got the core light on, so there's a demand on the hot water. So now we're going to do the same with the heating. I'm going to turn the heating on. So you can see that's on. Now let's look at the boiler again. And you can see there's now no demand. So the next thing we're going to look at is the room thermostat, see if it's turned up. So the room thermostat is turned up, let's go back to the boiler. And as you can see, there's no demand. So the next thing I'm going to think to myself is, is the room thermostat working? So let's have a look at that. What we can do by testing the room thermostat, we're going to uncover this um, cover here, that's where the wiring's all inside. And we're going to be looking at the white. So the white is then powered from the room thermostat. So we're going to see if there's power on the white, and then that'll tell us if the room thermostat has sent power over, and also tell us that it's working. We're going to check the room thermostat by connecting onto the white and the neutral so we're just connecting now and then if we look at the multimeter we are getting the power so that means the room firm starts working and it's sending power to the mid position valve so the next thing to check we need to see if the orange is energized that's the switch live going out to the boiler so that's the next step we're going to do we're going to Check the orange and the blue, the neutral, just connecting on there. And then you can see we've got no power, so the problem is the mid position valve is not sending power out to the boiler. So, you might ask a question how comes the hot water side is working then? So, I'll explain it. You can see a brown and a black so let's assume the brown is going to the boiler to energize the boiler and the black is coming from the hot water side that's from the cylinder thermostat so in hot water mode it's coming down the black which will energize the brown to the boiler and then on heating mode the orange would energize and then bring on the pump and boiler which would go down a brown so because the orange is not working that's why there's no um, call light coming on for heating and, and on the hot water the call light's coming on because it's coming down a black so hopefully that'll explain to you how it works so the next job for us is to change the mid position valve so we've got a kind of bad job to do here because you can see the mid position valve it's in a real bad place for us to rep um, repair it, replace it should say. So we're going to have to do a drain down. Now luckily it's on a seal system. And we're just going to have to drain it from this point here. So we're going to drain it from there. You can see that's going to be the pipe work coming down from the boiler and from this point here. Once we drain it down, then we're going to see if we can get in here and undo them nuts. 
we've been struggling trying to get the knocks off and we've had some work trapped in the system so we're just doing the final bit coming out and so I'm not bucket here so it's been really tight to get this thing out bit of a struggle but we're getting there in actual fact we didn't need to cut it uh, I did manage to actually just knock it off so that's all good so now we're going to put our new mid position valve in now we're all connected all nuts are done and now it's time to fill up so we're going to fill the system up drain off is closed off and now we're going to fill up here and then hopefully we'll test it and everything should be fine so for the grand finale we're going to test it and see if all our work has been worthwhile so we're going to turn it on so we're going to put the heating on so you'll see a light come on so that's on and now let's look at the boiler the car lights on yes it is so now we're cooking on not gas but electric so that's the end of this big mission so we're just going to put the cover back and then um, we're out ready for the next job so if you like that give us a like hope you must have learned a lot about a wiring system of the Y plan fault finding special like what we've seen today so if you're a new engineer and look for training you can go to our website at www.masterfulengineer.co.uk so that's it from me and Miles and I'll see you in the next video bye for now